For every seam that we sew, we start and finish with a back stitch or a back tack. And to do a back stitch, we're going to be using the reverse button. On most modern machines, there's a button that looks like that with the little with the little U-turn symbol. On some industrial machines or older model machines, it's more like a lever at the side that puts you into reverse. In this video, I'm going to show you the normal back tack as well as what to do if your machine does not have a reverse function. In some older model machines, there might not be a reverse function. And also what to do if you're doing an important top stitch and you don't want the back tack to show. So on a normal seam, on a basic seam, I'm just going to be sewing about three stitches in and then hitting reverse, pressing with my finger and on the foot pedal at the same time, going back about three stitches and then continuing on with my seam and repeating the process at the end of the seam. So about three stitches in and then reverse and then continue on with your seam. So right to the end and then about three stitches back and then sew to the end again. So the overlapping stitches are called a back tack and we use the back stitch to achieve that. So now let's say that you're on an older machine that does not have a reverse function. All you'll do is you'll sew your first three stitches about and then lift your needle up, lift your presser foot up, pull back to the beginning and just sew over those same three stitches. Very easy. And then continue with your seam and repeat that at the end of the seam as well. At the end of my seam, needle up, press your foot up, pull back a few, maybe a half a centimeter, and then sew over those same stitches. So let's say we have an important top stitch here and you don't want a back tack to show. Here's, here are a couple things that you can do. So I'll still start with a back tack, but if my, if for whatever reason I have to stop in an important top stitch, let's see what I'll do. Okay, so if I'm coming to here and I realize I've made a mistake or, for, or my bobbin thread has run out or for whatever reason I need to stop my top stitch and I'm going to be continuing it in a second, but I don't want to have a back tack show there. Here's what I can do. I'm going to hit needle up and then not use the thread cutting function on my machine, but pull out enough thread that I can then on the back pull that bobbin thread bring up the loop of the top thread. So I'm bringing both threads out to the reverse side, the side that will show less. And then I'll just tie those together. Good. Okay. Now I could just cut these threads or if I was doing a very high end garment and really didn't even want my knot to show, then I could just thread those threads, I could just thread those onto a needle and tuck those right in. There we go. And then the other needle, the other thread also gets tucked in at the exact same spot. So you have, that is secure, but nothing shows on the outside. Continuing on my top stitch from there, I would want to sink my needle down right into that same spot that I finished and no back tack there. And then here's another method. Again, needle up, but don't cut my thread. Keep it long. Good. If it's something that is sealed, like a cuff or lapel, and you cannot get inside, then you'll be tying the knot on the back and then threading the threads through. On something in this situation, where I can get to the inside, then what I'll do is I'll just pull the threads to the inside. Hmm. I'll just pull the threads to the inside, kind of using the back of my seam ripper to pull those threads both through. Good, and then tie the knot here where it's really nice and hidden. Okay, now I wanna show you three different ways that you can do a back tack in a way that does not show. Let's say that this is an important bit of top stitching, like on a lapel or a cuff, and we don't, and you just don't want a back tack that's going to show. Let's say you've made a mistake or your bobbin thread has run out and you don't want to unpick the whole top stitch. So here are three different things that you can do. 
First of all, okay, so let's say my bobbin runs out and I don't want to unpick that whole top stitch. So what I'll do is just needle up, lift up the presser foot. Don't use a thread cutting function on your machine because you want longer tails of thread. So now if this is, if this is a piece that is not enclosed where I can still get in between the layers, then what I'm going to do is separate that out a bit and I'm going to pull those threads to the, to in between the layers. I can use the back of a the back of a seam ripper or just a needle to pull those threads through. And then I'm just going to tie those in a knot, just right over left, left over right. Good. So that is secure. I don't need to cut the threads super close because 